Hello and welcome to Gentle Yoga. My name is Liz. I'm so glad you're here today. For your practice today, you really just need a yoga mat or a space to move around. <laughs> and um, I really recommend that you have a blanket nearby um, or a couch cushion, something to prop your seat and to support you in your practice today. Um, all right, so let's find a nice easy seat and we'll get the music going. Find a nice tall spine. Take a moment to allow yourself to arrive on the mat. Nice deep breath in and a big breath out. Big breath in and a big breath out. <sighs> I'm just taking these opening moments here and the quiet. <laughs> uh, take a nice deep breath in for the count of two. And breathe out for a count of five. Big breath in for two. And a big breath out for five. <laughs> okay. And a nice deep breath in and a breath out. So we're going to stay with that rhythm of the breath for a few moments, that two, five, two, four, two, five rhythm. <laughs> All right. It's going to allow your mind to focus in on the breath and tune everything else out. So we're gonna breathe in for two, out for five, back in for two, out for four, and then two, five again. So two, five, two, four, two, five is that code to unlock your mind and allowing yourself to really go in. That is our code to get you into your vibe today. Two, five, two, four, two, five. Just take a few more rounds of breath with that two, five, two, four, two, five count. Nice breath in and then a long exhale out for five counts. Breath in, a little short breath and 
four counts out. And then a little quick inhale in for two. And then a longer exhale out, five. So if you find yourself stuck today in a monkey mind during our practice together today and you need to know that code to unlock and go in, you can go back to that 252425 breath practice. Just stop what you're doing and go back to that practice. And that'll help to center you and help you arrive again. So we're going to now take a nice twist to the side, just gentle. And then a twist to the other side. It is really important that you move slowly in the beginning of your practice, gently, with care. And you start to move the breath in ways that feel good. It feels good to linger more on one side than the other. Go ahead and stay. As you move to the other side, I want you to really take a moment to lengthen the tailbone down and really brace your belly and let the spine get tall. If it's more comfortable for you to have your legs out, you can do that might get a little bit more range of motion this way. Just make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, that you're not slumped back. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Now let's have our chin level with the floor. And maybe take a big gaze over your back shoulder. Let's take it to the other side, gentle, easy ride to the other side. Just hold on wherever you can. Lift your chin. Can you gaze a little bit more over your back shoulder? Maybe just your eyes travel a little further back. You know, with your gaze, look all the way to that back corner. Good, go ahead and come back through center. Let's all bring our feet to the floor in this way. The feet are about a little wider than the hips. We're just gonna find a nice tall seat. This is another way to do a cat and cow, seated cat and cow. I'm gonna actually hold on underneath my uh, legs here and I'm gonna just start to round the spine, let the um, tailbone roll under and bring my chin to my chest for a seated cat. And you can really feel this in your shoulders, your shoulder blades, because you've got that um, tension in the arms here. Good, first thing to move is gonna be the tailbone I'm gonna start to roll forward through the pelvis. Now I'm gonna actually use my arms to pull my chest forward and let the chin rise. Now shoulder blades are squeezing together on the back. Good, slow motion ride back to cat. Breathe out. Okay, 
and you picture your shoulder blades coming a little bit further off the back body. Good, now nice inhale, come on forward to seated cow. You can let your belly relax now. Squeeze the shoulder blades together like they're gonna shove your heart forward. Good, now let's just take a few that are a little more fluid. Maybe you don't go to extremes. You're just sort of in that mid-range. Good, and then you could cross your legs if you like or if you prefer the mountain front like that, that's fine. We're just gonna loosen up the neck a little bit. So palms face up so that your shoulders can relax. And we'll tilt the head to the left side. <sighs> A nice exhale, let your shoulders drop. Good, slowly tip your gaze down to your mat and then easily drive that right shoulder to right ear. Good, a little smile across the bottom of the chest there as you uh, draw, bring your ear to the other side. And we're just gonna keep drawing those smiles with your chin. <laughs> Side to side. You could do this seated in a chair also, if it's hard for you to get down to the ground. Or, you know, if you're working at your desk, take a few moments for yourself and allow time for you to stretch your neck and your shoulders. Good. Bring your chin to your chest. And for a moment, I want you to really press your shoulders down away from the ears and Feel the opening at the back of the neck there, the nape of the neck. Good, let's lift the gaze. And I want you to turn your head to the left and then the right. Don't force it, just turn your head side to side. really important that you keep your mobility of your neck because you want to be able to drive your car as long as you can and you have to be able to turn your head to safely drive your car <laughs> good let's go ahead and roll over the knees and come to hands and knees if you've got your blanket you can pat up your knees, and if, uh, if the wrists get cranky like this, just roll the front of the mat towards you a couple times, and then you're gonna place your hands uh, down, uh, like the uh, heel of your hand is on that fold. And now you have your hands more at an angle, so it's not as much pressure on the wrists. And then we're just gonna wag the tail, take the hips side to side. We're gonna go very slow today, very gentle. We're not gonna really go for it today. We're just gonna move slowly and tenderly, caring, caring, caring starting to move into these circles. 
hips back. And then as I come forward, I'm gonna press into my hands a little bit. Another option, if you've got wrists that don't like to be in this kind of uh, flexion, you could make a fist and put your fists down. Let's take the circles the other way. is just down onto your mat so that the back of the neck is nice and long. Good. Let's go ahead and take the knees wide and the toes touch. We'll walk out into a child's pose. This is a nice place for a cushion or a um, pillow you could prop underneath your body if you have a hard time getting all the way deep into your child's pose. It's really important that the hips are down. So if you need to prop your hips, you'll take your blanket and prop your hips. So just fold the blanket up and you're going to put it underneath the hips. All right, and you don't want your, it's not relaxing <clears throat> to have your hips up in the air. <laughs> so, you know, using some blanket or cushion underneath the hips to give them something to rest down into is what you wanna do. You can get creative with those props, <laughs> you know? Um, couple of pillows. Relaxing into the shape, allowing the floor to hold you. Total surrender here. Let the bones be heavy. If this gets to be too much for the knees, just lay on your belly with your legs long. We're all going to meet there anyway, so slowly make your way onto your belly. If you do have a blanket, this is a nice place to Use your blanket, roll it up into this shape here. And just come forward, let the bony part of the hips rest onto the blanket. Legs long behind you, your feet are relaxed. Just turn your head to one side, whatever side's comfortable. If it's not comfortable for you to rest your ear down on the mat, 
you can make a stack with your palms and rest your forehead on that stack. Go ahead and turn your feet the other way. Let's gently come back to center. Just slowly bring your elbows under your shoulders and spread your palms wide. Forearms are pressed down into the mat and just lift your gaze slightly. I'm not going to lift my chin all the way parallel to the floor. I'm just going to keep my gaze um, in between my hands, like I'm looking at a, a magazine, beach, favorite book. But I am going to actively push down through my arms so that I'm not slunk here. I'm going to push the floor away with my arms. Maybe you even feel a squeeze between the shoulder blades. And take nice breath in through the nose and you can let the breath out with a sigh. Relax your hips and your glutes. You don't have to hold on. Good. Now let's relax out of that. Just reach your arms forward. Maybe turn your head to one side. Feel the flood of relief through the arms and the shoulders as they relax and release. yourself up just enough to roll onto your back. <sighs> Feels good. <laughs> Bring your knees into your chest and just roll around in the back. Body, low back. Draw some circles on the ceiling, maybe. Take the circles both directions.
Put a little wobble side to side. Good, you can bend and straighten the legs gently. <laughs> gently. More of a discovery of how am I feeling than of active stretch. Just like, how are my hamstrings today? Are they tight? Probably. Good, let's bring the soles of the feet to the mat. It's not gonna look like we're doing much, but we are gonna do something here now. Bring your feet to the mat. <sighs> your tailbone settled down into the mat. I want you to bend, uh, press your feet down and forward as though you were going to do a bridge, but your hips really aren't going to lift off the mat at all. Maybe like the tiniest little bit, enough to maybe slip a piece of paper under there, but maybe not even. So maintain that pressure through the feet for a moment and you'll feel the low back spread a little bit. And then go ahead and Stop that press and just relax. Good, let's take another turn at pushing the front of the mat away. Maybe the hips start to lift a little bit and then put them back down. So alternating that work of Pressing down the feet and shoving the front of the mat away, and then release. So you might start to feel the quads grip and come alive. That's good. If you're starting to feel that, then you can start to really push the hips up away from the floor using the quads, using your legs and your feet. Push, push, push. My glutes are relaxed. Good, and then lower down one vertebrae at a time. Let your pelvis roll back towards your belly button as you Lay the sacrum down, and then you can relax the pelvis. Good, let's press the front of the mat away. Feel the quads start to grip and work. Roll up into your bridge pose. And slowly lower down. Get a really tipped up pelvis towards your belly button as you lower down so that you can get that tailbone to be the last thing to land. Let's take one more lift. You can stay with the hips low if you have had enough bridging today. Push the floor away. Push the front of the mat longer, lower the hips down. All right, now this time you have the option to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop out, or you can walk your feet out to the edges of the mat and let the knees drop in. Whatever feels good. could always put a little blanket between the knees if your hips are a little cranky about that knocked in knee position. Let your knees roll towards me. And we're going to press up into a mermaid shape. So shins are going to be parallel to the long edge of the mat. 
and then we're just going to walk the hands around. You can prop, get that, bring that floor up to you if you need to. So you can picture that mermaid sitting on the rock, shining in the sunshine. If you want this, you can take a, uh, it's a spinal twist, but belly down. And I really like this with a prop underneath, so I'm gonna use my blanket wedged in like this, and I'm just gonna walk my chest down onto the prop. Oh, <laughs> you can stack the palms to let your head have somewhere to land. And here's the place for big belly breath. This twist is optional. If you don't like this at all, I want you to just roll onto your side and come into fetal pose. One more big breath in, <sighs> big breath out. Firm your hands into the floor, push the floor away. Let's find Mermaid once again. Good, from here, let's just take a little boat pose, okay? Since we're at the beach with the mermaids, maybe there's a boat. All right, my boat starts like this. Because I got a really cranky, oh, I'm getting a cramp in my leg. <laughs> I have a cranky little back. Uh, so this is my little boat. <laughs> this is how she starts. Oh, <laughs> so hold on. Oh. See if you can... Just find that nice spine, the shoulders down away from the ears, a proud chest. That is my boat. <laughs> Maybe your boat looks like this. You just tip back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now my shins are parallel to the floor. And there's some more fancy boats where the legs are straight. <laughs> but my, quad, uh, my hamstrings aren't quite there today. Maybe you have a fancy sail. Let your foot go down and you can just have one leg go straight and then the other. Keep your belly button to kiss the spine. Good, let's bring the boat into the dock <laughs> and find another mermaid. All right, so let's go ahead and, hmm. yeah, I don't wanna have my back to you. Okay, we're gonna mermaid on the other side. Shins parallel to the short edge of the mat and then walk your hands around. I even hear waves. <laughs> How cool is that? If you want to lay your mermaid down for that, that belly down twist. Oh.
Remember your option is to lay in fetal pose or anything that feels good. Today's practice is all about low and slow. Sloga. hear the waves it's very subtle <laughs> very subtle in the background of the music <sighs> Can you use your imagination to feel the Sun warming your back First, push your hands into ground. Find your mermaid again. And let's take our boats out one more time. Take your time setting up your boat. First, I'm going to just find my and my cranky back. <laughs> I have to really be careful about finding that low back positioning. So finding that shape of the tailbone is down, but there's a liftedness through the uh, low belly. Shoulders are down and back chest is lifted so there's a lot of integrity through the torso and this might be your boat today maybe you lean back a little bit more and lift your shins parallel to the ground maybe your feet reach for big sky Maybe they don't, and that's totally fine. Good, let's bring our feet to the mat. It might feel nice to take a little sea turtle shape. If you can bring your soles of your feet together and let your knees drop out, make a diamond with your uh, legs. Just a little casual lean forward. And if your legs are up here, that's okay. <laughs> Good. Ease out of that. And I want you to firm into your hands just for a moment. Take a little crab shape. We have a little beach theme going on here. <laughs> Lift your hips away from the floor. Let your heart shine. Let your head drop back. You could still do this seated, the same thing. Just keep your hips down and lift your chest up into the sunshine. Ah. <laughs> Good. Bring your chin to your chest and just stretch out the back of your neck. Good. Let's just go ahead and roll onto your back. We're going to take, whoa, there's the microphone, a spinal twist, one more spinal twist, this time on the back. So gather your knees into your chest, and we're going to let the knees drop off to the left. I love to prop up my twist. 
with a blanket. Let your knees drop onto the blanket. Open your arm to the right, always knees to the left first, and your twists. You always twist to the left first. <sighs> Back shoulders grounded. Let your head drop off to the right. you have a hard time keeping that back shoulder down, that's just a sign that you need to prop those knees a little bit more and back off the twist. Nothing wrong with that. That's a smart yogi. Good, bring your head to center first, then draw your knees in through center. It might feel nice to reset the spine, just a little lift of the hips or Curl your shoulders up off the mat and then lay back down and set up your twist on the other side. Knees going to drop to the right. Arm opens out to the left and the gaze follows. You know, and you can even be more casual than this if you just want to zigzag the legs over to the right. Or if you want to fancy up your twist, you can do that. Come on back to center. If you've got a blankie, cover your feet and yourself up. Snuggle up for Shavasana. It's nice to feel cozy and warm. Just making yourself comfortable on the back body. Taking a moment. Maybe you want to revisit that breath practice we did at the beginning of class where you have a nice little swift inhale and then a long breath out. A breath in. Longer breath out. Exhale is twice as long, if not longer, than that inhale. This is something you can use at night, too, when you're trying to fall asleep if you can't get your mind to be quiet. Soft face, soft body, let go. Release down, down, down.
start to wiggle fingers and toes, or you're welcome to stay longer in your Shavasana beyond our time together. Make your way to fetal pose if you're going to end today. Fetal pose. Gently push the floor away. And use your blanket once again to prop your seat. Just find a nice, easy seat with a tall spine. Maybe use your hands to get the fleshy parts of the glutes away so that the tail can root down into ground. Crown of the head reaches for sky. <sighs> The mermaid in me honors the mermaid in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Be good to yourself. Allow yourself time to slow down and relax. Take good care, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>